Hi everyone, welcome to this course on how to use HoneyBook. I'm Lainey, I'm a wedding invitation designer and I've been teaching about client management for so long now. And HoneyBook is one of my absolute favorite platforms for any type of creative or service-based business. So I'm gonna teach you today what is HoneyBook to start off? That's an important understanding. How to get set up in HoneyBook and then how to use all of the best tools and features in HoneyBook. I'm going to cover a lot of stuff in this course, so make sure you watch the entire playlist and you can always return to it as needed. One of my favorite things about HoneyBook is that there's a lot of setup, but then everything starts to really connect and you start to feel the magic. So I think sometimes when people look at these courses and they look at how to set everything up, they start to feel a little bit overwhelmed because there is a lot to do in the beginning. But every time you set up a form, every time you add your brand settings, every time you make a new questionnaire, you don't ever have to do those things ever again. So bear with me. I'll tell you kind of throughout which stages you should start and focus on, which things you should do first. And then at the very end, there will be an exercise about mapping out your process flow. So definitely stick around and check out that last video in order to get the mapping of your process flow with our free download. And you'll start to see where you can use all the things that we talk about in the course to start making your business run more streamlined and more professionally. And of course, I'm an educator with HoneyBook, so if you do end up using my link, you'll get anywhere from 35 to 50% off your first year with them. So absolutely check that out because it's a massive, huge, wonderful discount, and I want you to save all the money that you can when you're working with this incredible system. So first of all, what is HoneyBook? HoneyBook is what's referred to as a CRM or a CMS that can stand for a client management system or client relationship manager. It basically means it's a software that all of your client and project data can live within. So if you've been doing everything via email with Google Sheets and forms and PDF contracts and all these different things, think of HoneyBook as a place where you can really combine everything that's related to your client communications, your project communications, um, all of your forms, questionnaires, contracts, invoices. Uh, you can accept payments in HoneyBook. You can send emails through there. So just all of the things that are related to all of your projects with your clients. I don't even use a lot of the really advanced features in HoneyBook in my business because some of the simple things are really the most powerful and this has saved me so much time as an invitation designer, has saved me from making a ton, a ton of mistakes and has also made me look more professional. I actually got my first client management system because I got a lead from my first ever client that was not a friend or family member and I thought, oh crap, my current system is not giving me the best look. I stayed up all night putting together my client management system. And ever since then, it has just been such a wonderful asset for my business. As far as HoneyBook specifically, they are available anywhere in Canada and the US. Um, and they are also their own payment processor. So they don't hook up to like PayPal, Stripe, etc. If that's something that's important to you, you can check out um, some of our other videos, which will compare to other systems, as well as some of those systems that are available in other areas of the world. Something that I love about HoneyBook though, is they are always listening to us as users. So there's a very convenient place where you can suggest user improvements. They have a really active community and they have wonderful customer service and truly do uh, make a ton of strides and improve features based on our feedback. And as you can tell, me and HoneyBook have similar branding colors. We both love the color yellow. So I'm really excited to share with you the system. I'm gonna hop over to my screen and show you the dashboard and kind of intro you to HoneyBook. All right, this is our HoneyBook dashboard. It's actually kind of updated. So if you've seen it in the past, this might be a new look for you. We're gonna get our new leads and our unread messages, tasks, and then all of the money that we've collected in 2024 up here. Um, we have our leads, our calendar, a few action buttons here, which I really love. So if you need to just go ahead and create a new project or something, you can do that. Here is all the different activity that's come up, unread messages, payments, tasks, some templates, basically everything is here and you can always suggest little widgets here as well. That's what I was mentioning, how HoneyBook is always looking out for us. So we get a good overview of what's going on in your business right here on the dashboard, as well as these great action items. At the top are four sections, so home, which will just take us to this page, our projects, our contacts, and then tools, which will bring us to a lot of different things. We'll spend a lot of time on that tools 
uh, tab in this course. And then in this corner, you're going to have your account and company settings. So I would recommend starting here, starting on your accounts tab, and then your company settings to get everything set up on the back end. Here you'll want to fill in your main account info and also change your photo. And then this is also where you can change your password and set up login instructions. And then this is a new feature actually where you can do an out of office, which is just so fun. Absolutely love this, super easy to put on here. And then your payment methods will be credit cards or bank accounts, so you can add those in here as well. Your company settings have a few different features, so you'll set up all of your kind of brand information here, and then you can include brand elements such as images, logos, button colors. I'll just change this one to one of my new branding colors to show you how easy this is. There we go. And then these features will kind of settle into place throughout your account. So you'll see other places that you can use these different elements from your brand where it will automatically bring in the brand color for all your buttons, et cetera, unless you choose to customize and change it. Your smart file theme in general will probably match your brand settings. And this is going to be really important when you're getting into forms and things that we'll talk about later. So you can set up your uh, fonts and colors that will go with your branding. And this, there's going to be so many places where this pulls in. So this is really, really helpful here. Also email signature, a little about what's cool about HoneyBook is it's the only client management system that really connects with other vendors. So if you are working on a project that has a florist, a wedding planner, a photographer, a makeup artist, etc., you can connect all of your information in HoneyBook. And there's actually a way that you can refer your clients to other vendors or other vendors can refer to you via HoneyBook. And then you have all of your socials as needed and then more info, which is more your address and things. Your preferences tab will give you the ability to edit certain things like your different lead sources. So you can customize these if you have someone specific sending you leads. Something that HoneyBook will do is categorize jobs based on lead source, which is helpful information for your business. You can also add in certain details that you need about the project. So for instance, if I needed the uh, venue name or the wedding planner name or something, I could just add that in and save it. And that would be something that's asked on every project. Then you can edit all your different uh, project types. And this is just another categorization feature that you can use. In here, you can set all of your notifications that you want to receive. You can also set up some automatic actions. So you can send a questionnaire three weeks before the project date, and you can also edit this so that you can change it to one week or something, whatever makes sense for your different clients. So these are some kind of fun automations that you can turn on if you'd like to in your preferences. A great one that I love is sending the reminder to your client if they haven't viewed your file within a couple of days. So if you just set that up, you never have to really think about it again. And another one people like is expiring your proposals and invoices. I don't personally do that, but I know a lot of companies that do. We'll talk about the scheduler later, but you can turn on text reminders for meetings and things. And then you can also turn on all of your different payment reminders. So lots of really good stuff in these preferences. I recommend like digging deep into these and deciding if they're going to be helpful for you to turn on or not. And I think some of these things will start to make sense as we dive deeper. So watch the course, then come back <laughs> and take a look at these and see what you want to automate. And then you can set up your naming system. Um, I just like just to have the project name and the smart file. And I typically name the project after the client. So like Laney and Alex invitations, Laney and Alex save the dates, etc. I'll cover client portal and integrations in their own videos. Um, but here you can invite additional team members to your workspace. There are four different roles, basic moderator, admin, and super admin. That's a new one. And you can also give a bookkeeper access to to your account so they can pull in all of your invoices and things. Here, this tab will be bank details. I'm not going to show you that one. No offense. <laughs> and then you have your client payment methods. As I mentioned, HoneyBook processes its own payments, which is amazing if you don't want to have to have other accounts. Um, they don't have charge any like additional processing fees. It's just kind of your standard uh, 2.9 plus 25 cents per transaction. And then if you do card on file payments, this would be an automatic payment, like a recurring payment or a retainer payment, um, then that's going to have a little bit higher 
of a transaction fee. And then if you want an instant deposit, you can do 1%, but otherwise you would get the payments within two or three business days. They also can do an ACH payment for a little bit lower of a processing fee. So some people like this. Personally, I'm a big fan of making it really easy for your clients to pay. So for the difference in processing fee, um, I love to do a card payment, but perhaps that's just me. That's up to you how you want to run that in your business. And then you'll fill in your tax information because since they are collecting your payments, they're the ones who will send you a tax form for those payments at the end of the year. Now, once you've put all these settings together, they will apply in other places throughout your account. So I think it's a really good idea to start here. And then before we get into projects and contacts, I just want to go over Honeywood pricing with you. These prices are going to be 50% off. And if you do monthly, that will apply for your first three months. If you do yearly, that will apply for your first year. So you'll get a little bit better of a discount. Um, my discount kind of swings between 35 and 50% depending on exactly when you are watching this. Um, I'm not always in charge of those discounts. So you can get started for even less than $10 a month. In this course, I am going to cover a few things that are on the essentials plan, but almost everything I'm going to cover is on the starter plan. And I think it's a great place to get started. And then you can always upgrade later if you decide you want to use um, any of these features. The main one being like the schedulers and the automations. If QuickBooks online integration is really important to you, uh, then that might be a good place to start. It's not a huge cost difference, um, but almost all of the things that make HoneyBook so powerful and wonderful are going to be included in this starter plan. So I'd recommend getting started with that, setting up a few things from these first couple lessons, and then I'll put some of these more advanced lessons toward the end and you can see what's possible after you're already comfortable. And then all your plans actually have a seven day free trial as well. So go ahead and sign up for that. And then always make sure to use my code to get that highest discount, whether it's 35 or somewhere up to 50%. All right, I clicked home to return to my dashboard. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you projects and contacts here in HoneyBook.